the chat again and you know positive messages be good to one another everyone in the chat today let's let's have fun let's let's be let's be just chill and real nice that's right twitter got me down this morning with a bunch of jerks so i'm not we don't need that we don't need any of that i, I stay off the tweets nothing but good vibes people good. nothing but good vibes good vibes good vibes thank you to danko whiskin for Look at the subs St start starting it off right talk about something that sounds like a harry potter spell danko whiskin that gives you a decanter of whiskey sure does <laughs> all right here we go we got more subs too from fellas batow felsepto all right, we'll give him the, and we got to give him the official, the official, and, and the inside of the game. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Oops, why didn't the round change on this side? <gasps> Did I forget to change that number? Top sixteen. Oops. Here we go. Hello, everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the top sixteen of the Space Jam Tournament. Today, I'm joined by. Ryan Moisture Farmer, what is up, Dion? I'm really excited to have another day of commentating, another day of X-Wing, and, you know, just another day of top-level play. Wow. You know what, though? Before we even jump into the list, I got to give a shout out to our community right off the bat. We got a bunch of people who are just who are throwing subs at us. So shout out to MJ Barr, Danko Wiskin for uh, gifting five subs. We had Felsepto doing the same thing, five subs. And then uh, looks like Heartbreak Time or HW Break Time, Homework Break Time for gifting 20 subs. Uh, already, you know, heading us toward our goal. Uh, I'll tell you that the next item that we're going to give away next stretch goal is at 200 we're only nine away now but uh let's go ahead you know ryan what? go ahead i was about to say i don't know a lot about numbers but i know that was a lot that sure was well you know ryan let's go ahead let's break down these lists yeah let's talk about it so on the left we've got double down who's running whisper with passive sensors fifth brother grand inquisitor and darth vader with passive sensors and afterburners if it looks familiar that's because that is identical to oliver pocknell's world's winning squad and then on the right uh world of her we've got a zealous recruit two of them in fact um and then one two three no two cartel spacers with tractor beam and then two cartel spacers with ion cannon and dion we don't see a lot of quote unquote control lists dominating or doing very well in x-wing much and we had the nantex for a, uh, a sprinkle of a moment uh splashing in there and then we had the tractor beam changes but we haven't seen ion control really hit hard i know for a second as well we had five ion wise kind of be something that was <clears throat> pretty good but it's interesting to see World of Hurt uh, make it to the top 16 running some tractors and ions. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to tell you, man. I love, I love. That's uh, that's Okta. I love his squad. Oh, my God. Yeah, Okta, man. He's great. Such a talented like, player. Like, Everyone in the top 16 here. Great that's players. super similar to remember that squad I was telling you where I had uh, Fen Rao in there instead. But I look at this and going, oh, that might be better. More, <laughs> You get one more ship. I know you lose Fenral, but you still get a second Fang. Like, mm, mm, that seems good. <laughs> well, you know yeah, what? On the surface, on the surface, Dion, this isn't a, a squad that I would actually look at and be like, yeah, this is a contender. But we should break down in a second why the squad really works so well you know but before we do that I, I know you got a couple things you need to say to the chat yeah so a couple of things uh first your choose your champion poll is up right now um we have we have a bonus prize uh we have four matches today you guys have to be on the winning side of history so uh three and one is the goal there uh to get the bonus prize and uh yeah also want to say a huge shout out to our sponsor for all these rounds curled paw creatives use coupon code space jam 2020 for 20 percent off super excited um for the sponsorship there thank you so much and the support and uh also if you guys haven't noticed the tokens on the screen 
are uh, are skinned to be the curled paw creatives tokens. Uh, they're not curl- <laughs> yeah, not currently uh, available for everybody to use, um, but we have it so that uh, you know you guys here on the stream can see them. And um, you know, I, this is a kind of a surprise for Andrew. I was like, hey, Andrew, I, I got, I want to do a thing. Can I, can I do a thing? Can you trust me? And he's like, yeah. And he was like, cool. So he likes it. He thought it was really cool to see. Uh, so yeah, get your uh, get your acrylic now, so that once we can get back to the tables, you guys can play in style. He's got frosted versions as well as the transparent versions. Uh, but if you want to be super fancy, you go for that frosted. All right. So looking at this opening here. Um, yeah. Look at the look at the right side of the screen here. Um, <clears throat> World of Hurtatum. Really, you can tell this is a practiced opening. Um, yep. You've got the fangs that uh, one of each were with two of the um cartel spacers and each one of these cartel spacers that w- is with um the fangs has one of each type of control with it the tractor and the ion right and you have to be really careful going against octor squad because if you find like it's not that hard for something to become ion locked and then not only are you ion locked you can then be continuously tractored and it's you know once you're ioned it you, your predictability is especially if you're flying like these three aces right if either whisper the grand quizzer or vader get ioned that's bad news because the entire strength of these ace squads are their maneuverability and their way to kind of move around your squad man you know what right here the that um i feel like octa has like called where vader was going to be right because he's he has uh, he flipped around his squad he was confident that vader was going to continue up the board uh sure and like obviously if double down continues taking vader into that top right corner that's going to be a problem um but these ships are fast enough yeah. mind you of course the m3a's don't have boosts but uh, they are fast, and they're still they still got some fast maneuvers. They can catch up with Vader pretty quickly, uh, and at the very least, you end up maybe burning those afterburners early, which can be a huge off not only defensive but offensive tool for Vader when he does things like you know uh, talent roll and then boosting in to get an attack, or you know doing that after a K turn or barely being out of range to going in range to take a ship out. So. I want to see. Uh, I want to see what the reaction from Double Down is here, and how hard Akta, who is a world of hurtatum, <laughs> uh, pursues uh, the Dark Lord of the Sith there at the top of the table. And I want to talk about Dion just <clears throat> exactly what is happening, why this is such a brutal squad to go against if you're an Ace or a three agility ship. Okay, so let's say you're soon to your fell or your whisper, right? Let's just say you're whisper here and you have a focus and an evade and you know two agility dies, or you're the inquisitor or vader, you've got some force to back you up. He'll lead off with the tractor beams, right? He'll shoot that first tractor and you could shrug it off, like, oh, I don't want to get tractored. Like I'm I'm gonna spend a token. Then he'll shoot another tractor at you, and you have to choose, all right, is it worth it to spend a defensive token to not get tractored? Okay. Mm-hmm. Or should I spend it to not get tractored? So either way, you're trying to strip tokens. Regardless of whether you strip the tokens or not, if you don't, if you do strip the tokens, great. If not, they're tractored. So you get a little control there, but really you've reduced the agility. Now you got two ions coming in. And now that the agility is reduced, it's easier to make that ion stick. Because remember, you only the ion tokens only get applied after, like additionally after that first damage is dealt. You have to do more than one. So normally against three agility ships, you're not getting ion tokens on them. Like come on, mm-hmm. barring like disaster. But suddenly, if they become two agility, or in Whisper's case, one agility, it becomes much, much easier to drop those ion tokens on. So you drop one ion on one of these, and only one of those cartels needs to have their ion hit. Suddenly Vader can't do his shenanigans. You know, suddenly they can only take the focus action and that is brutal. So you've got that and then two fall, three die follow-ups at the end with the initiative one zealous recruits. It's really a clever squad that can catch you deceptively by surprise if you're not prepared for the things that it can do 
or how can affect you. And what's really crazy about it is Octor can either bring them all in as a joust, as a swarm all together in formation, like you see at the bottom right of the board, or you can split them up a little bit and have two teams, you know, kind of unit, you know, A unit or B unit, Delta <laughs> Alpha Squad, Beta Squad yeah. come in and pincer around and have the same sort of thing happen. I like it. I like That's it. the farmer breakdown. I love it. The farmer breakdown. Tasty. Brought to you by breakfast. Breakfast. No <laughs> no pepperoni for me this morning. I'm all out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Somebody send this man some pepperoni. <laughs> so right. if I'm double down, you, you just got to do what you know that you can do well. And you have to accept that something's going to get ioned. So what you have to do is you need to get Vader... Vader's your hitter, right? And you uh -huh. have to accept that Vader will probably die. You have to choose the ship you want to die. So what I'm, if I'm going to do here is I'm going to get Vader up on that top right of the board in a jousting situation, and I'm going to lay him hanging out to dry so that I can get Whisper behind the rest of the ships. You need to break up this six ships that Octor has, and you want Whisper to be that endgame ship, um, mainly because, yes, with only the two agility dice, um that can make her a little more susceptible to an ion lock but i'll also say this she's also the best the most maneuverable out of these three ships and and has some of the best firepower so what you do here is you let vader just get ioned and have him do the one forward and lay in some pain you take out the ion seeks as fast as possible they're the main target because if you can get the ions out of there that that takes out that not only the damage but the control because yeah, the reduced agility is not great, but what hurts you even more is not being able to do AC things and arc dodge. You know, I actually I love the position here uh, by Octa on the right side, not over pursuing, still threatening yep. Whisper, even though there's a rock there. Uh, you got that, you know, like you said, you got that Alpha Bravo squad. You could split these uh, these groups up if they need be, and could go in between those three rocks you see right there on the center. And uh, there's no doubt about and it. And have yeah. Arc there. Because I feel like Whisper, after seeing that decloak, right? Um, yep. You kind of almost expect it to be a bank maneuver. Like I can, I can almost taste the one bank there. Or if Double Down got real aggressive, expecting those uh, interceptors and uh, fangs. Well, there you go. We just saw it right there. There's a two bank. Um, kind of split the difference. They didn't get too aggressive with the two bank, just tr uh, with the three bank, just trying to barely have range, which I think he will. Um, Looks like he'll have a range three focused uh, shot um, against and the Octor blue won't MDA. be afraid to split these these ships up. Remember, um, like I, <clears throat> he would like to keep them all in one group, but I think he'll be totally okay if he needs to, you know, turning some in on Whisper. Um, but I like where Double Down's positioning is here on Whisper. Lots of flexibility. How many times, Dion, did we see yesterday somebody over-pursuing with one of the ships or coming in too fast and get punished for it? Now, mm -hmm. we're in the top 16 now. These are really, really talented players. These are guys that know what they're doing, and they <clears throat> are trying to, you know, they're, they're chess matching each other. Yep. There's Vader turning in there, and <clears throat> I think that, you know... Uh, the double down's not going to make it easy for World of Hurtatum to pin him down. Yep, and he went with the barrel roll to the right there on the uh, getting on the other side of the rock to make sure that uh, Akta could not bum rush him, could not just take everybody and go straight. But here we go. The Inquisitor is up and is checking his shots. Look, he's got a couple of range three shots. And don't forget also, Dion, that. We've got rocks. There are no clouds here. Yeah. It, you know, the Imperial player took these these small rocks. So the other bit of control is hit crit tractoring people onto rocks as well. Absolutely. We got hit crit there coming in from the Inquisitor using the ability to get that range one bonus. And it's still considered range three for the defender. Just on the attack there. So still get four dice. Has the focus token, could spend it to avoid the shot, or avoid the damage. Probably spend one force though, right? Well, this is uh, this is against the oh, M3As. sorry, this is on the Inquisitor on the Seek, sorry. Yeah. Early morning, got it, got it, got it, got it. We're good, we good. So did he take did that he shield, up, though? He, does, he does take the shield, okay. It's fine, wants that mod. 
might be worried more about the Whisper Shot, which is going to be, um, you know, has double modifications here. Target Lock and the Force. All right. Has the Target Lock available. Probably just rerolls one of them, I'm guessing. Yeah. And ends All up right. with only, only two hits. Two. It'll be a crit, though, because of Fifth Brother. True. All these seeks have three agility, though. Yep, here we go. And that's enough. Spend the focus yeah, that's out. Why you, yep, that's why you take that, keep that focus there. I mean, mathematically, it's better to take the shield there. And then, you know, obviously you can't spend focus results you don't have. But with four green dice, you are more likely to get more, you know, you could get more eyeballs and get more value out I think, of that. I think that he might be thinking token. about taking the crit in order to have the shot against the inquisitor he's taking it i don't it. know how many shots he's he's taking interesting. it what's, That's interesting what's what's that card what's that card direct hit direct hit all right so he's got to make that worth it he's got to make it worth it he took the risk here possibly or he's going to be losing that ship early uh in order to get Maybe. this shot he might be losing that ship early because now you know, the, what is it, blue? Blue's a tractor beam seek. Like, <laughs> it's not one of the Ion guys, you know what I mean? I think mm -hmm. he's okay making double down think, like, do you want to finish this ship off? Oh, the focus, three hits, three hits. Oh, man. Kept the focus, so that's three. And that's going to be three as well. Oh man, that would have been big if he could have tractored the Inquisitor there. The aggression from the from down under. For those who don't know, World uh, World of Hurt uh, TM trademarked is from Australia. I mean, I like World of Hurt to Tim better though. I mean, you're probably not wrong. What's the extra T for? Or did Nick I accidentally just type an extra T? It's one of the two. I don't know. Nick, give us some insight. Hard-hitting analysis. Uh, <laughs> the top right corner of the screen are all the usernames. So World of Hurt, H-U-R-T-T-T-M. Interesting. So it is, it is actually triple T's. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Amazing. Maybe, right. maybe, you know, you, you got some tractors in there. <laughs> I wish there were three <laughs> tractors in the squad. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, the exchange there didn't quite go in Octor's favor. So he's got one of these seeks on one hole. But like I said, in, in squads like this, yeah, that sucks. But like now double he knows that double down to finish that ship off will have to burn a shot to take down one of your tractor seeks. And that means he's not shooting at the ions. So he can be a little more aggressive here with that blue ship and i you know that one rock on the 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 one that looks like a boomerang uh -huh. that one is impeding his squat just a touch i'm really curious to see where both of these players go if they both if, if he kind of goes hard in on whisper um whisper should be able to decloak right and then bank and be behind and avoid most of those shots if whisper decloaks towards the bottom of the screen banks and then even does another barrel roll should be able to avoid almost all those shots so now as octor you have to decide if you just keep moving forward and chase vader but like i said that boomerang rock is causing some issues for b the blue ship he if he if he had been able to tractor the inquisitor onto that rock he'd be in a plus shape to take him out the next this next turn agreed agreed yeah i want to see where, where do you think vader's gonna go is vader gonna gonna vader's be got, offensive vader still does need to be careful but i think here with vader you could just you could do a nice easy one forward um or um you know you do one bank all right, so just play it ni failed, nice and failed, slow. Failed barrel roll here. Yeah. Undo, undo the barrel roll. Do you mean to do that? No. But he, he did. He, just, uh, he went uh, barrel rolled right forward. 
I think he might have just accidentally cl clipped it. There you go. Yeah, I think he might have clicked the wrong button. I don't think he would have barrel rolled yeah. there. <laughs> Somebody's arguing with you in the chat. It's not a boomerang. It's a croissant. Oh, I guess it does kind of look like a croissant. Croissant with a provocateur. Lieutenant Lehus. See, it turns it turns out, turns out we, we <laughs> X Wing's all about the French, the whole it time. It sure is. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, close the poll here. Uh, World of Hurtachatum uh, ends up leading here with sixty-five percent of the vote. We'll see how it shakes out. Well, based on yesterday's results, I've learned to not trust the chat. <laughs> he has no faith in you, chat. He has none. Your faith in your friends is yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This uh, this event has been super fun. I want to thank everybody. If you're in the chat and you played yesterday, uh, let, let us know, right? I played! Exclamation point. Let us know. If you took part in the inaugural Space Jam. You know, Dion, I, I'm i really excited to see what other matchups and what other lists made it today. Are Is this, if someone wanted to see the lists, where could they go to see what uh, what lists and uh, how the top 16 is broken down? What, what, what could they do to find that information out? Well, we're going to be posting it on List Fortress after the... Um... After the event, we do have currently have an event page that you can look at, but right now we're asking people not to bombard it just because we did have some server issues and we want to be able to make sure the players can use it. Uh, but yeah, you know what? This is actually a great opportunity while we're waiting to break down the, the top 16 a little bit uh, and talk about factions a little bit. Uh, cool. So let's talk about percentages of representation for the uh, – oops, I just realized – for the tournament or for, for the top for, cut? For, for the tournament first. Let's talk about the tournament. People are, I'm sure people are curious here. Um, so the biggest faction was the Empire, okay? With sure, a 38, they're great and extended. 38 out of 148 uh, squads. That's 25 and a little bit percent. Followed closely by Scum and Villainy, who had 24%. You know what the downside is for us not like I, I wish sometimes like being in person is cool because I I like being able to give you stuff to give away to other people too. True, like, true, hey, true. Here, take this stuff and just give it to people. But I don't have any stuff to give. I guess I've got a what's this? This is a protein bar wrapper. I mean um let, let me know got? in the chat if you would want a Ryan Farmer protein bar wrapper. Like we we could do that. We could make I mean it I can make that happen. This is a Cliff Bar. Like, if has you been want, in my hands. I mean, it's not exactly Gamer Girl bath water, but you know. <laughs> hey, you know what though? It's <laughs> Brian. I think we found our next our next venture. All right, yeah. X Wing okay. famous bath water. X Wing famous bath water. Right. Perfect. Nobody wants. Listen, <laughs> I can't think of anything anybody wants more than. <laughs> Than my moist, my moisture. <laughs> there, you, Rob, there you go. There you go. Bottled. Minoc moisture. Minoc, bottled Minoc moisture. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. That you know is... what? I'm trash enough on the table. You might as well have some of my real trash, too. Oh. That's funny. <laughs> Please stop. <the> chat. <laughs> Oh, come on, guys. We're having some fun. Yeah, anybody who's just joining um, us, the time has stopped on purpose. Uh, did they yep, just move a ship? getting things back. I think they just moved the ship. Start the time. Oh, they did. They didn't ping us. They didn't ping us. It's fine. I asked them to, but oh well. We got it. We're good. <laughs> Bad X-Wing players. <laughs> just kidding. All love. You know what the awful thing is? People are going to think that, like, I'm obsessed with pepperoni. Yesterday was the first time I've had pepperoni in, like, over a Like, it's just it was in my fridge because of the quarantine. Right? Like, um, what do I have? What is, what is here? Okay, so this is really strong play by um, Octor here. Great maneuvering right here. He's just saying, don't be here. <laughs> if, we, if you want to. 
If you want to, you can. You don't now have he's to. Exposed, he has exposed himself a bit to Whisper. Um, but you just got to live with it. You ha- you're going to have to expose your flank to somebody. And hopefully Whisper doesn't shred you for, you know, before you can take another ship out. I like where bl- that blue seek is hiding behind that rock. Um, not going to uh, just clenching, hoping it stays alive for another round or two. So it can start getting in there to block. Mm-hmm. Cause if it can get in there to block and then maybe K turn or get behind some of these aces, you know, that's the danger of not danger, but when you have a one health ship, like, you know, it's going to die. Like you, you're not super concerned about it, but the longer it lives, the more value you're going to get out of it. And the more you are actually making difficult decisions for your opponent to decide, Oh, do I really keep going after this thing or not? Yeah. Like, is, is it actually worth it at this point? Because, you know, I, do I have to commit no, really? resource to it? But then you end up leaving a tractor seat. You're like, Oh, I'm just, I'm just going to tractor you then if you're going to ignore me. Well, yeah. Well, that's the thing. That it's twenty-eight points, right? How much effort are you going to put into getting? You know, what is it? Fourteen, fourteen more points when you could have potentially other targets. I like the one bank in by um, by whisper there, and that allowed the flexibility to barrel roll. Um, I don't think he'll barrel roll though. I think he'll just take passive. Yeah, it looks that way. Inquisitor should be able to boost out of most of the arcs here. All Just right. thinking, though. All right. I love where that red seek is, though. That red uh, cartel spacer with the ion. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's in, it's in a great spot. It's super threatening. It's like, listen, you could be here, but don't. The That's a really interesting boost there by the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor is, is in a, a kind of a, a, a bad spot. That might be range two from the Ion Cannon plus the follow up shot from the uh, maybe from the Zealot. It depends if uh, Octa values the Ion over just straight yeah. damage. Which one you do first there? All As right. expected, there's the one forward by Vader. But that shows it you does look, mean that three shots going sorry. into Vader possibly. Go ahead. Uh, it does mean, though, that um, he'll probably barrel roll to get out of two of those. But um, taking a lock, actually, on, on the sea. It looks like he's going to try with Whisper Invader to take out that um, that Zealot recruit, which would, you know, would make sense. Man, passive sensors is so good. Whiff. Wow. On the Vader shot. I think you oh spend my goodness. I think you spend the target lock for sure. I think you do too. <laughs> no question. No question. Alright, you got two. No crit because no uh, lock is currently on the ship. Correct. Four dice defensive roll. Has a focus there to spend. I mean, it feels bad. You're like, oh man, really? I couldn't get two. No, you take the one. Yeah, you, you take one. It's fine. And yep, he's reaching for the damage card. Yeah, it's okay. No crit. That's the real key there. And the players are uh, are communicating with each other, so just so you guys know, they have. Uh, it's part of if you're going to be part of any of our GSP events, um, voice um, voice chat with your opponent is required. Uh, it allows, honestly, it makes it makes the game feel so much better, so much better. All right, here's Whisper. Three dice going into that same target. Yeah, it'll probably be three hits. We'll see what the target lock has to say. It is three. No crits, though. Yep. No crits. Whisper keeps the evade and the force. And, ooh, 
Probably just takes the one here. I think you probably just take it. You're like, you know what? I'm gonna. It's gonna be half, but uh, I still have two to give. I'm a Fang fighter. Yeah, I think I think you take the one as well. And of it's course, tough. It, it is tough because how defensive these ships are. You, uh, you wish that those Seeks in the back were able to get some shots, but Octor's a smart player. He knows what he's doing. Double down, though, having the early advantage here. And he's going to spend it. He's he's valuing that health. Yeah. I mean, the, the Fang Fighters in this list are the heavy hitters, for sure. So yeah, I, you I totally keep understand alive. that. Yeah, you need to keep that offensive threat available. All right, let's see where because uh... we don't know exactly where this shot is being sent. I don't know who's shooting or think, where it's going. I think this is the red one. They forgot to 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 ping it. The red into whom? Inquisitor, perhaps? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Two Inquisitor leads. doesn't want to be ion, so he spends a force. Nick, could you ask them to please ping their attacks? Uh, that was, it looks like that was the Zealous that was shooting. All right. All right, here we go. Here's the yellow zealot into the Inquisitor. Yeah, just taking all those shots. And don't forget, all these ships are I-1, so... Oh, brutal. Uh, whiffs on that one. You spend the focus for one because you can. But, got it. Yeah. No, no issue. And what you're trying to do here is strip those tokens with, you know, your damage-dealing shots because you want to get a condition on this Inquisitor. Here's the red cartel spacer looking at options. You got range three to the Inquisitor, range two to whisper through the rock. So it's four with a focus on the Inquisitor or three with an evade. And yep, going on whisper, seeing if you can strip that evade token or get that shield. A lot of uh, whisper players will just give you the first couple shields uh, since they really value that evade. I mean, that's what gives you that movement yeah. for the cloak. Here we go. Correct choice. Three dice. Spend focus uh, for two. I don't know if they have one. No, they do. I'm pretty sure they do. Yep, they do. Oh. And and there it is. That that's gonna be. Yep. Oh, I think. You, you, do you want an ionized whisper? Well, you've got you've got force still. So, if you evade True. force, you take no damage. True. Okay. Um. So he definitely won't take an eye on. All right, hundred percent. All right. Uh, and I'm sorry. That was a no. Yeah, that was a track. That was no, a, no. That, was, that was Ion. That was Ion. We got it right. We got don't, it right. Don't, don't think. Don't listen to the chat. Um. Timo, you lied to me. <laughs> uh, look at the arc indicators, not the bases. I see the co the colors are kind of jumbled up. He's using the uh, the arc indicators as colors. Base colors are lies. <laughs> so he did take the shield on Whisper? Yeah, he did take it because he didn't sp yeah. spend the evade. Yeah. So free damage there. For anybody... now, Whisper can kind of get behind the squad. Whisper's got to be careful here. A decloak right in a one bank. 
if those couple seeks on the top of the screen hard turn in, uh -huh. right? Though orange, yeah, that's orange and pink. That's the ion tractor double tap there. Yep. That could be bad. So it's something you need to be aware of. Yeah, there definitely... what you could do is sorry, Dion. No, you're didn't good. Mean to go interrupt ahead. You. Go ahead. No, go, 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 go. Um, um, if he one hards to the bottom of the screen with those two seeks to con to kind of take on Whisper, and then does a one bank with blue, and then uh, to the left, and then a one bank with red to the right, brings these zealouses. He he can delay Whisper, right? And listen, if he just has the attractor ion on it, even one more shield off Whisper is a big deal. Like, you're looking to get half on that 71-point ship because it's, I mean, that is more, half of that is worth over one of your ships, like one of these cartels. Agreed, yeah. Most of the time, Whisper can play kind of cut and loose, cutting loose here uh, when she has both her shields but once those shields come down uh people get a lot less aggressive with her and you want to be defensive and you just you lose that firepower and really out of all three ships um the the combination of maneuverability and consistency makes whisper a great tool but a whisper that's kind of playing scared and not necessarily smart and not putting putting the gun to use is it's kind of worthless yes you're carrying around 71 points but that gives your your opponent opportunities to start tracking down your other two ships and the other thing that i would say dion is look at where grand inquisitor is not in the fight at all it's going to take the way he's positioned with the way he boosted he won't be in the relevant for at least three turns because he needs to do a blue to clear now which means it's only vader and whisper that are contending with these ships and yeah you could one shot them but it's not easy to one shot any of these ships you've got one of the spacers at one hall but if you're gonna lose a spacer a tractor one is the one you want to lose and then you've got you know these two zealouses but they're getting close to that range one glory zone agreed i'm gonna go try something so here. if i'm double down right i actually think i decloak whisper left here I think I decloak Whisper left, and I think I would still do. I think I would decloak Whisper left and do a one bank to the right, and then I think I would one bank Vader towards the right side of the screen, so left. And I know that might be a little bit controversial moving uh decloaking whisper towards that bottom part of the board um but it allows you to ensure that whisper and vader can get their guns on the same target because you're trying to initiative kill something so either go after one of those zealouses with three hull or you just try and take out a seek it also also gives octor um makes a and the other thing is if you do that with whisper if she does get ioned you're in an like okay part of the board and you're also not at risk of um with that bank getting tractored onto any rock agreed but then like obviously like a safe play with whisper two all is decloaking right taking a bank looking at your barrel roll options you know that's totally acceptable as well Just doing a little, little color matching here for the for the stream right now. Sorry, right? All good. All right. Bam. And there's the decloak right with whisper. The reason I was I'm also tentative about that decloak right is depending on what you do. If you do get tractored, that rock right there is in a pretty rough spot. But if you go fast enough, if you do a two or a three, you could maybe just avoid it completely. Zealous turning in, covering that, um, trying to move around and cover that Whisper decloak. So if Whisper had decloaked left, the Zealot would have been right there for a block.
but now it boosted and now it's on the hot pursuit getting saying hey i'm behind you whisper you gotta deal with me now <laughs> do you know who i am <laughs> all right this I'm is man. why i'm not a top 16 player i would have was decloaked whisper in a place that would have gotten her killed so worked out Seems to not be super concerned with Vader here. Um, now the Inquisitor... That Tidal Zealot boosted and link focused. Probably should be stressed. I'm sure they'll get those tokens it's, taken it's care there. of in a second. It's on yeah, there. I just can't see it. It's perfectly right behind the model. I promise you, I'm looking at it. It's right there. I see you. Hello, little It's right there. Again. Ignoring Vader, which is, you know, if you're going to go after, an, like I said, Whisper's that end game. Like you, the, the ship that scares me the most in the squad is Whisper. So if you can get it out, nice barrel roll by that Zealot. Barrel roll focus. Invader doesn't have a lock right now, so if he gets blocked, he won't have one. That'd be sad. Or if he's sitting in in front of, uh, look, right now, two ships. Oh, 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 oh. We got a tractor beam and a, and a zealot right there. Here comes an uh, ion seek. If Vader goes Even slow. Even if Vader just does a one bank or a one forward, he is staring down the gullet at these seeks. Let's see what we have here. And they're the one hards that I was mentioning earlier. Octor not afraid to split his fire. And Whisper coming in, sitting at range one of a tractor beam and an ion. He'll be able to barrel roll. Ooh, maybe not. I was going to say he should be able to barrel roll out of one of those arcs if he wants to. Hard to tell. Inquisitor with the one hard now behind that um, that zealous recruit. Whisper with the passive here, though, not caring at all about an, uh, a tractor and an ion saying, listen, I'm just going to, you know, it's fine. I can get tractored. I can lose one health from an ion. Yeah. Interesting question from the chat. Can you cloak when you're ion to Dion? Well, so if we look at the Whisper card, it says, well, specifically the Stygium Particle Array says, uh, at the start of the end phase, you may spend one cloak token to gain a cloak token. Uh, it has nothing. Spend one evade token yeah, to sorry, gain yeah, one, one cloak. Yeah, one evade token. Yes. It's not. It has nothing to do with an action. Doesn't affect it there. So yes, Correct. you can. Um, and you can decloak. And you can still decloak. Yes. But you cannot get your evade token. Right, because that when you comes back right after decloaking, that is an evade Correct. action. You cannot perform right. any actions other than focus. Correct. Oh, As someone who Vader played... oh. turned right there, got in the pocket here, oh, passed man. all the blocks. That is crazy. Highlight well, reel. Double down. Doubling wow. down. My goodness. Looks like Whisper and uh, Vader are going to both be going at the orange ringed seek that Ion Cannon one. Trying to see if yeah, you can get it off the board. Want. If you're double down, incredible play there. You know, and that was a 50 50, right? Both players have to decide, like, all right, do I think you're going to go fast yeah. or slow? And uh, double down, not only guesses wow, right, but able play. to thread the needle. All right, here we go. Vader. Uh, looks like it was range two. Got the reroll after the force. That's going to be hit, hit, crit. Sure will. And yeah, now I think you got to spend that spend focus. It, yep. So it takes one shield.
And Whisper has the follow-up. Absolutely. Passive sensors was used. Fortunately, this is not a lost round here for um, Octor. He's got still quite a few shots. I think he rerolled two of those dice. Maybe all three. Yeah, reroll all three. Oh! Whisper. Whiff, what? More like Whifter. That? Wow. Ooh, that has some implications there. Oh my goodness. And doesn't get the evade token. Nope. Here's the Inquisitor. That's ooh, that's a good roll. Against that red seek. Or red uh The Red Zealot. Well he's gonna get yeah, Concordia. One, so one yeah, crit. One evade. Yep. And that crit is a whole breach. Everything's face up. Honestly. Ah, uh, who cares? Yeah, in this Whatever. case, you're like, it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, man. That whiff by Whisper is crazy. Now she's in a bit of a precarious situation. All right. So what's the order of operations here? I know we're going into Whisper, but which one's shooting first? You got to do that tractor first, right? I mean, we don't know. We don't know what he values first or more. There's four dice. That tells you that's a tractor beam. Yep. At range one, three hits. Uh... That two hits. That's two and tractors. Well, let's see if he moves them. Because then Whisper could take a stress to rotate if she wanted. Right. Might I just, say you don't move her. Just leave her there. Take the minus one agility and leave it at it as is. Yeah. Now, do you go ion or take a normal shot at mm -hmm. one agility Whisper? Take the ion. She becomes yeah. more predictable. You at least, even if you can't take advantage yeah. of it necessarily, you, you know dice. where you're going to go. Yeah, agreed. And it looks like it's just outside of range one, so it will be three dice. Two, Two. hits. So one damage guaranteed. So one so damage. no ion for Whisper. That's big. Takes that second uh, shield. Yep. Yeah. One away from half on Whisper there. And now you, you got more follow-up shots against uh, Grand Inquisitor. Some good ones, too. Gets that tractor hits. That Zealous Recruit shot could really hurt. So range one. Into Vader. Yep, from red. So... Three hits. That should be three. Three hits, ion cannon. Yep. Uh, Vader will take a damage here. Sure after, will. After spending the force. Yeah. A couple people asking about the, uh, why didn't they move uh, Whisper like to the left barrel forward for range one. We'll talk about that here in a second. Um, sure. The, the tractor rules that Brian did mention, but we'll, we'll go ahead and hit it again. Uh, here's the blue spacer with the tractor beam going into the Inquisitor. This is important. Really important. That's three. He's going to spend that focus. Oh, was it out of the table? Not three. Yeah. Sorry. In the box. So I think Inquisitor here will spend one of those force. Yep. Yeah, no problem. We're fine. This is fine. We only has one force now. Don't forget, and no focus. Follow-up so shot. So he only has one eyeball conversion for a range two zealous follow-up. Last shot for Octor this round. Looking for three. Would have been crazy if Octor had gotten three hits on that tractor, though. E. All right, this is going to be a range two shot. 
in the bullseye. They don't. He doesn't have any bullseye abilities, but feels sure good. Feels better. Got him in his sights. Three, Three hits. Three. That's what those okay. saying. That's what I was saying. Yeah. And going to so be can, taking a damage. Yeah. yeah. So Whisper, Vader, and Inquisitor all playing for one damage. So, you know, despite the really great play by Double Down here, that whiff by Whisper can really just, it, it resonates here. Um, because now, like, oof, you're, you're one away from half on Inquisitor, two away from half on Vader, one away from half on Whisper. And with these sorts of squads, 25 minutes left, it's hard. If, if, if he halves... You know, Inquisitor and Whisper, like you gotta make you gotta start killing ships. Yeah, it's the you know the score right now doesn't tell you really where the game is because um, World of Hurt is on the edge of getting a bunch of points. Right, he has to make sure he delivers, but he he is right there. Uh, we'll see what he can do. Now let's go back here to Whisper getting hit by the tractor beam. A couple people were confused. Why didn't we? Uh, why didn't we see? Uh, whisper possibly barrel rolled using a tractor into range one of the orange ion cannon well one of the things that you might be forgetting is the fact that uh, the new ion uh, excuse me the new tractor rule allows the opponent to rotate their ship uh, 90 degrees in either direction that they'd like to go so potentially what you end up creating is a situation where whisper could end up opening up some maybe a trajectory that um, World of Hurt would not have wanted Whisper to have access to. Specifically, it would be in a position where Whisper can start pursuing those two Seeks the next turn. So uh, I, I would guess that that is the reason why we didn't see the rotate there. Agree. Agree. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> maybe it would have been worth it to do it and say, yeah, you can rotate where you want. I don't care. You know? Maybe, because uh, then you have a stressed whisper. Obviously, with the uh, ion, it would be, uh, the blue maneuver would clear that stress. Um, but I think you're more than okay having whisper decloak and maybe candy cane here. A couple people were asking about a bracket, so we um, we don't have a live bracket right now, mostly because we're not sharing the TTT link. We had some issues with uh, server stuff um, yesterday, and we'd like to avoid it for today. But um, we will uh, we'll publish everything, you know, after after the event. But we'll definitely give you guys the the rundown. Uh, while we're waiting here, we had, if you guys rec recognize some of these stream, uh, these screen names, here were the matchups that we had. We had Eno versus Nicholas God. Table 2 is this current uh, match that you guys are watching. Table 3, we got Dutch Cuthbert versus Cam Murray. So that's Colorado versus, uh, I'm not sure what part of Canada Cam's from, but somewhere around there. Uh, somewhere in that giant country. <laughs> Table 4, uh, George Labashore versus our very own Ryan Stanazuski. Table five: Dylan Fernandez versus Izzy G of the uh, of the West Coast. I think Portland, Portland or Seattle. I always get those two cities confused. Table six: We <laughs> had. Uh, I really do. Uh, we have Stephen Parker versus William Haywood, our very own. Table seven: World Champion Ali Pocknell versus Richard Herman. And table eight was Captain Sebastian versus James Ritter. Right now, we don't have any results in at the moment. Dutch, why are you commentating? You focus on your game. Commentating in the chat. Get, get focus on your game. <laughs> oh, the are you guys uh, Dutch? You can go ahead and put your score in TTT. You should. You guys should be fine. I was only sixteen of you. Oh, it looks like we had our our, our first report there. Looks like uh, Dutch did fall. You guys already did. Did I just not hit refresh? That's probably what it is. Ah, look. Turns out three of the games were actually already done. Um, so it looks like uh, Cam beat Dutch 200 to 71. Ryan Sanazuski moves on to the top eight versus George Labashore, uh, 200 to 20. And table eight, 
Captain Sebastian able to beat James Ritter 200 to 61. Twenty minutes left in this game. Um, we are, you know, in this planning phase. Really difficult for both players here. You got to think Whisper is going to decloak to the right and potentially Candy Cane left, or maybe either way, it's a win. You know, Octor could say, "I'm chasing you, Whisper. We're we're getting those half points. Like mm -hmm. you're not going to stop me." Um, what what do you think you should do, you would do if you were double down, Dion? Double down, Dion. <laughs> double down, Dion. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm really not sure about Whisper. The Whisper is the one question mark I have. Like, I feel like Vader might be pseudo pseudo obvious, but I'm kind of I'm worried about that yellow recruit turning in because I feel like Vader Vader just kind of wants to bank in and see what he gets and pursue either the pink or the orange who are most likely uh, you know you might, if they want to stay aggressive they're K turning or they're banking into the middle here to help against the inquisitor uh, whisper honestly I think is safe you might uh, get the decloak to the right and then just up the right side of the board with something like a two or three bank uh, maybe a one bank if you want to stay not as far up to the top of the board so you can turn in afterwards uh, you might even see, if you want to get real aggressive, you might want to see the uh, the hard turn from Whisper, the Candy Cane, classic Candy Cane Whisper, in order to stay offensive. But again, you have a, a lot of possibility of heat coming in there, uh, even though you do have Vader as backup coming from the top. Um, the, the Inquisitor is the one that I am the most worried about, I think, because you potentially could get, what is that, one, two, three, four, five out of your six arcs pointed and you could honestly no you could get all six of them pointed at the inquisitor uh right now you can get them all if you uh do a talent roll uh or a k turn with the uh with the blue zealot the, the teal zealot you just two bank with the yellow yellow zealot maybe two forward boost focus and then you just you know accordingly you just go ahead turn around the the red how about uh how about this big brain maneuver dion how about not decloaking with whisper here oh I mean, that's always a possibility. Don't decloak. Do a three forward, oh, right? Yeah. Um, just focus. Stay cloaked with a focus. Next turn, get her back around. Or stay cloaked and do a four K. How about that? Hey. Well, he's decloaking. All right. Well, you know. <laughs> That's why I'm the commentator. <laughs> Going to the right, forward. Uh, I, I can taste the candy cane. I taste that candy cane. I can taste the peppermint. Fun fact, Devin does not like peppermint candy canes. Fun fact, me either. <sighs> Blasphemous. Oh man. Here we go. Red is on the prowl. Done up. Hard two. I did forget that the, the fang was stressed there, so I like this move. Hard two. Uh you yeah, bo totally. you're boosting. You're boosting. You're going for it. Or oh, if, you're absolutely boosting. Unless he also K turned with the orange and pink C, because I could see him leaving the space there. Yeah. Man, but the Inquisitor, the Inquisitor, if if the plan is going at uh, at Whisper and Vader, kind of going towards that right side of the board, the, the the Inquisitor is ready to hunt. And like good ace players, obviously just like Double Down, who has made it this far, they have this like this great skill of doing defensive maneuvers when need be without taking the ship out of the fight for too long like making sure to keep the ship relevant i find a, a really common problem that um, i have when i'm practicing and something that i'm trying to improve is like all right i know that i can't stay here with my ace but what's a spot i can put it in where it's safe or more defensive but also 
can get back in the fight quickly. And Dutch Co confirming in the chat, I lost to Double Down and Swiss. He's a great player. Yeah, that would have been Dutch's only. Oh. Tried the 5K and did not make it. Oh. That hurts. Should have boosted forward. Yeah, the boost. The boost would have done it. Unless the unless orange is also K turning, which then the boost wouldn't have done it. All right, so we got that a uh, two straight boost. Just trying to bully the Inquisitor. If he tries to hard one in, that would be a block. And f a possible follow-up here with a tractor beam seek after that. Who would likely just push that Inquisitor forward and be like, you know what, how about you go get shot by yellow now? <laughs> Let's see who's up next. One bank to the top of the board with the tractor beam seek there. Sorry, ion cannon seek. Taking a focus. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't take the opportunity to do a lock. Most likely he's not going to be shot unless it's Whisper who's coming to the top of the board. Next we have that three bank. And again, just focusing there onto the Inquisitor. And here we go. We have a, 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 a large candy cane, big candy, big candy going for, uh, for that hard three for Whisper. Passive sensors. Looks like she has arc on the orange seek. All right. Where? I see floating hands. I see hands. Confusion? Questions? There you go. Vader, target locking. Might not have a shot, but just taking the opportunity to, to get the action. Yeah, no doubt. All right, so it looks like Vader did not have arc on uh, on the orange, but uh, going to pink. Two dice. Hey, got hit crit. Uh -huh. Sometimes it just works. It is an obstructed range three shot, so it's going to be five dice. Got enough. Oh. Even with one outside the box, got enough. <laughs> All right, here's Whisper. Taking that passive sensors, but does not have arc there either. Another missed target opportunity there. Being forced to switch targets from where they had the, uh, the target lock. It is very close, I will tell you guys. Very close. I'm looking down the line right now on my computer, and it is is brutally close. And only one hit. The average there when you don't have any mods. Four dice on defense. We are fine. Easy. Easy. And the Inquisitor now looking at options. Did the Inquisitor not bump? I think he did bump. I'm pretty sure he did. Okay. 
Because it doesn't have because the, the angle he's at doesn't have the bumped text. They clear are they cleared to tag? That's why. Yeah. All right. Cool. Only one force on the Inquisitor. Don't forget though. True. One hit. Going into that pink seek and taking no. a damage. That's first shield there. Only one shield though. Yeah. Just waiting for these attacks to go through before I hit some analysis. Yeah, of course. Yeah, guys, just to confirm, the Inquisitor did bump. They just cleared it. Great. All right, here we go. One hit going into the quiz from the tractor beam. Not what you want to see there. Two of eights. With two of eights. Now, yeah, you were hoping for the, the dream, right? Tractor in yeah. front of the Zealot, range one. Yep. Because if you do that, that's just huge. We have an ion follow-up. Octor just needs to... Half doesn't get him ahead, but it gets him close. Here we go. And hit, crit, crit. Might get him ionized, though. Give him a chance next turn. Oh, the force. Safe. With wow, that's no, big. With no follow-up shots. That's massive. All right. What other shots do we have? We have a downtown shot from the Teal Zealot into Whisper. Should be fine. Whisper's got a clench. And. Oh, was it not an arc? Did he not get that shot? Or did he already shoot and we miss it? Not sure. Oh, looks like they're going back to dials down. Okay. I mean, you see the arc out there. Could be out of range, too. Uh, it clearly says range three. Well, looks like they're going back to the dials. <laughs> um, this is pro with seven minutes left and how long each turn is taking. This is probably our last round here. Probably. Nick, can you please check to see, like, did he just choose not to take the shot or did we miss it or something? Just do it. I think we check. might miss the shot. I can go over there. Yeah. Thank you. So, you know, right. with six minutes left here, um, Octor's close, right? He's He's got a bunch of ships that are, like, right there, but he needs to take... All right, all is good. All right. One hit, Whisper would have had... Three dice for range three. And... No problem. No problem. All right, cool. Okay. Okay. 
All right. All is right with All the right. world. <laughs> so Octor needs to either get half on Whisper and not lose any of his not lose or any more points, right? He's got to get half on Whisper and half on Inquisitor and could probably lose one of these Seeks, lose one or one of these Zealots and be fine. Um, that's the game plan. Or, I mean, I guess half on Vader would be would suffice too. But he doesn't really have the position here to do that. Um, you have to look at... <clears throat> You have to look at the red seek at the top of your screen. That can challenge Whisper here with a one hard. A lot of good ways for um, you know to get Whisper in that arc. You have to look at the Zealot on the bottom of the screen being doing a two bank focus boost to get arc on Whisper. Uh, that's why Whisper decloaking. Man. It's almost like with Whisper, you don't want to decloak again but if you decloak to the right and then maybe three bank right because you just need to keep whisper alive um you don't want to get the half it's really a tough call at this point between running and trying to deal more damage without losing all the losing more points and you don't want whisper to take more than one shot and she's in danger of taking a shot from the red seek and the zealous so given the board state it actually might be prudent here to decloak right with whisper and do a three forward so you either bump into that red seek which is fine because you'll still have the evade yep or you know just force a bump in that particular situation um or even like a four forward right because I don't think that there's any way that he could get if he if he decloaks right and then does a four forward, he'd be pretty safe from a lot of these shots. Huh. Vader can move up and I right, well here we go. Try it begins. Oh, okay. Decloak right. Okay. Good start. There's the one heart from the seek. Think. Takes the focus. Yep. Focus boost. I mean, maybe just focus. He might stay there. It seems like a possible spot to block Vader, or if Vader turned in, like a hard two, no. have a shot. Or did that was the boost? That was the boost. Spot. No, it was the boost. That was the boost. Got yeah, it. he focus boosted. Getting half on Vader is good too, if you can get it. Strong barrel roll. All right, we got the one turn there from the cartel spacer. Also facing the area where Vader most likely will be entering unless Vader, again, played that big money and zoomed out of there. The other thing you can do here, too is if you're Octor, if you're looking at the clock, and let's say you have a few shots and he doesn't have any shots, you can say, I'm not shooting, and go back to dials if you want another round to maybe get better shots on things. I've, I've done that before at the end of tournament where you think the engagement's not great and you only have 20 seconds left on the clock. Mm -hmm. You can just say, I decline the fire. And yep. if the other, if your opponent doesn't have any shots, then you have to go back to dials for the end of the round. Yep. Like, there's Whisper with the big brain play, getting out of there. 35 points. Half a Vader would do it. Half a Whisper would do it. You're obviously not in a position to shoot Whisper. It, all, it comes yeah. down to Vader. It's Vader. 
Vader still has afterburners. Let's see if he does that five forward or that four forward. If he bumps here, I think you, I think you maybe risk it. Let's take a look. Reveal that dial. Look at him trying to drain the clock. And that's a bump. It is. So what does Octor do here? He's got to make a decision right now. Does he engage? Does he take the engagements here? Or does he... This, um, is, this is your chance right now. You got to do two damage to Vader. Yeah, if you do He's two got, damage to Vader, you win the game. And you've got three shots on him, I think. And two force. I think it's worth it. He's got two force, exactly. Yep. This is it. And if he gets tractored, woof. Yeah, that one hole blew. Yep. Been sticking around for a while. This is a tractor beam. Yeah. And if he can tractor him, that's big too. Because then he'll get the, the shot for the zealot. And he'll also be able to pull Vader off of, uh, yeah, pull Vader off yeah, of. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. And maybe pull him into range one of the yellow as well. Yeah. Here we go. Tractor beam for a kingdom. Two hits. Two. That, that would that he'll spend a force for that one if he needs to. Oh. He takes the tractor. He <laughs> takes the tractor. <laughs> oh my God! People are reeling right now. Oh, Vader gonna be barreled right here. The rotation oh, doesn't matter. Man. Time's been called. That's time. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's big. So tractor him left. Range one of two zealots. With focus, Vader will only have two agility and two force. Here we go. Two range one shots. He needs He's two damage. He needs two damage on Vader to win the game. Vader in a dream. Warm up those dice. Range one coming in from the uh, the turquoise. Oh, my goodness. What an ending here to this game. Here we go. Two focus shots. One of the dice are out the box. Yeah, one die fell out of the box. So we have a crit. And so he'll re uh, one of those dice will get re-rolled. I think they, they established early that they were just putting them back in. So we'll just, just two hits there. Oh, man. Unless there you go. Did Nick Vader just call him? out of his mind. So this zealot, this shot's got to... Come on, Hoctor. Just pick four new dice. <laughs> This has got, this is, he needs a good shot here. He's done everything he, he could possibly do up until this moment. Final shot of the game. Here we go. Oh, that's going to that, be that's four, four hit. Vader can do that's it. Four. Vader can't do anything about it. Even if Vader rolls two evades, that's it. And that wow. is the ball game right what there. What a finish. Oh my goodness. Octor in the final shot of the game. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Well, what a final. Oh, my goodness.